Hi, yeah, I'm Georgia. I'm a live music photographer based in Southampton and I'm currently the in-house photographer at The Joiners. Uh, so I went to concerts quite a lot when I was younger and also got into photography when I was sort of in my early teens and both of those were like outlets for me at that age and it just kind of made sense to combine them especially since like my local venue didn't have a barrier so you could just take your camera in. Uh, so I'm from Southampton so I've always gone to the joiners for gigs and back when it was still open so uh, the cellar bar neither of those required a press pass to take photos so I'd just pay to go to a gig and I'd take my camera along and see what shots I could get. I would say that half of photography is the skill, like the technical skill required, and the other half is just who you know. So the more people you know, the more friends you make in the right places, the more contacts you form, the more work comes your way and that gives you more of a chance to then network further for more work and it's almost a cyclical sort of process in getting more work and employment, I guess. Uh, the main one is to just network and put myself out there as much as possible. Just being bold as well, almost erring on being a little bit cheeky sometimes, just trying my luck, always in a polite way, but sort of asking for things I kind of don't even expect to really get on the off chance. Just, it's taken me a few years, but the main sort of lesson I've had to drum into myself is the worst anyone can do is say no. Um, and that means I've been able to sort of put myself out there for opportunities and it has paid off. Uh, it's pretty varied just because some weeks you'll have no work whatsoever, other weeks you'll be on a tour and you'll be working constantly. I also do like different, not I don't just do live music photography. So some weeks I'll find myself doing loads of live music photos other weeks it'll be loads of club nights or events so no day to, it, there's not really a consistent day-to-day -day life especially when there are periods when it's not so busy or when it's super busy but it's always interesting I guess. I would say no it's not a secure job uh, just because it's totally reliant on your networking abilities it's totally reliant on sort of the economic climate at the time because if if there's an, if bands don't have the money or if like agents the people who want to employ you don't have that extra budget to take a photographer on tour to get them to take photos of a single show or for press shots then you end up not having work it's one of those ones where like in the summer during festival season you can make a fair amount of money if you're shooting for various bands at lots of different festivals but it's not a consistently secure job there it's definitely times when you'll be a lot worse off or a lot better off just getting to <laughs> like immerse myself in music but also be creative myself is just the best feeling. I've got to a point where like, I don't like being at a gig without a camera because I'm always thinking about, oh that would have been the perfect shot, like it's something I genuinely love doing. It means you get to do loads of cool stuff like going to festivals and going to shows which obviously I would have, I would have paid to do anyway. <laughs> um, getting to meet lots and lots of different people and getting to travel is really really great. I, I, I've had lots of opportunities to go to places I wouldn't have gone to had it not been for music photography. You can never really plan anything too much in advance because you never know what's going to crop up um, in terms of employment. It's difficult getting into music photography and especially in such um, a digital era that we're in, sort of 
one of the pros of that is everyone could be a music photographer. One of the cons is everyone could be a music photographer. It's definitely a very saturated industry to get into. If you are traveling for ages, you're obviously away from home for a bit, which can be both good and bad, depending on how you're feeling, depending on how I wake up feeling each day. But um, yeah, it's, I think it's n not quite so glamorous as well as it, there's a lot of waiting around. <laughs> Which, which I guess, I mean, I, I like to spend that time editing, but um, yeah, it's not always like super, super fun and exciting. It's a lot of waiting around during sound checks and in dressing rooms and such. I've recently found that, and I think it's something I personally need to work on, a, a more and more bands want people who are able to do video as well as photography. So whilst you can sort of get to grips and master photography, I think there's always more technical skills that give you an advantage over such a saturated market. Using a camera and knowing your camera doesn't have to be the best camera in the world, but you have to know how to use it. And in music photography, you've got to be able to use it quickly and make judgment calls really quickly. And I think that's probably the thing that took me the most practice, being able to just know from memory in my head what settings my camera needed to be on in an instant before the moment passed and the lighting and setting had completely changed.